It's the first day of action to revamp the city's oldest park in downtown James Weldon Johnson Park. Yeah, a strategic plan for it was just approved and on your side's Renata De Gregorio joins us with what the main question is right now. What will this park look like? That is the question. What will the redesign look like? Will I still be riding through a mouth in three years? What we do know is the park is right across from City Hall and the people redesigning it want to make sure that your voice is heard here. I think that the park will be totally different in three years. 1977 was the last time Jacksonville's first public park, what Liz McCoy with Friends of James Weldon Johnson Park calls the heart of the city, got a facelift. To get this heart beating with a new life, a redesign project now moves forward. We don't have a design currently in our minds. We only have talked about what we want and hope for the park to be. <laughs> for this space that hosts more than 300 events every year, McCoy is hoping for a stage with a permanent sound system and lighting and a cafe with bathrooms. Expect to see a dedication to civil rights leader and poet James Weldon Johnson. We also want to be the place where history happens. The site of protests, Axe Handle Saturday, a historical marker for the Great Fire of 1901. This park holds history and McCoy wants the redesign to amplify that. We want to be the spot where people's voices are heard. And that is what the central park of any city should be. Look for a suggestion box, public comments, or email your redesign ideas on the email on this firstcoastnews.com story. Renata DiGregorio, First Coast News, on your side.